All right, so what we'll do next is create our model timeline. So write model timeline in row nine. And what we'll do is go to the inputs time dependent sheet and copy this information here. Um, we already have the categories which we will want to know. So press control C, copy and control V to paste it here and what we'll look at is the cal calendar year, days in period, days in the calendar year, the construction quarter, uh, the number of operations quarters and the operations year. So before we calculate the calendar year I quickly want to free some paints here so please go to cell I8 then go to view and then choose the option freeze paints the first option so what it will do is it will freeze the cells selected to the left and top of the selected cell so that uh, if we scroll we still have the um, general timing information up here that we actually always know in which quarter we are okay great and lastly we will get rid of the grid line so here under view please um, click this grid lines button here that the model gets a bit cleaner and what we will do first then is the calendar year here. It's just simply a year function. So type in year and what we will do is we will refer to the end of period cell. Hit enter and what we'll get is the year of this cell, so 2023. Next will be the days in period. So what we will simply do is subtract cell I5 or actually I4 from I5 and what happens here is that it um, actually subtracts one date too many because it will not count the 1st of January 2023 so what we will need to do is add one day back that we actually get the correct number of days uh, in between the 31st of March and the 1st of January so we actually won't need days in calendar year so let's select this and press control minus to get rid of this but we will need something else later on so select row 15 press control plus to add an additional cell and, and what that will be is a year frac function so it will give us a percentage of how many days of the year are actually within this period and this will be an actual divided by actual year frac so just bear with me, you will see what this comes down to. But let's first do the construction quarter here. This is a pretty simple formula. So it's simply the cell to the left, H12 plus one. And let's actually have this in parentheses times, oops, times the construction's flag and to make sure that no one's actually putting in value in h12 we hit alt hj and to mark this cell as an empty cell so that everyone knows okay that's a reference and we want this cell to be empty that no one later on um, puts in a value here so same goes for the operations quarter we will also refer to this cell here so press ctrl d to have the same formatting and it's going to be almost the same formula Actually, we can probably press control down and yes, it already gives us the right formula. And so let's first get all this to the right. Control R and you can see, okay, everything seems to work properly. The operations quarter starts when the operations period starts and the construction quarter ends when the construction flag ends. So that's great. And what we will do to figure out the operations here is a round up function. So um, it's going to be this function here, round up. And we will round up this number here, I13 divided by quarters per year. And we want it to round to zero digits. Enter. Let's see if that worked. Let's actually first give it a comma zero style here. And you can see, great, it works. Um, this is going to be the first operations here. That's correct. And then uh, in the fifth 
operations quarter, the second operations year starts. So that seems to work properly. And lastly, what we want to know is what kind of percentage of days per year there are in a certain period. So there's a very useful and helpful function which actually does that for us. So um, please type in year frac and select the year frac function. And what the start date will be is here the start of period minus one day. It's the same logic as uh, previously for the days in a period. And then the end date will be the end of period. And then what we'll do is select actual over actual here. So select one so that it uh, does an actual over actual day count basis. And this is for some other interest related calculations. But what we will want here is number one. So please select this. And you can see, OK, in this hit all HJ select a percentage style and you can see in the first quarter there's 24.66 percent of all days in this specific calendar year get that to the right great and one last check is if we select all uh, four cells in the first entire year you can see okay uh, it sums up to 100 percent so this function seems to work properly. Great, this was it for now and see you in the next lesson.